Okay, what I'm going to do now is go through one of the harder ones for the LET exam. Here we have two in series, one in parallel, and break it down. I'm going to probably do two different versions of this. So when I talked about before, we still have V over R, so we've got divide, we've got times power as V squared over R, we're using a parallel circuit, I squared times R, we're using a single, and total power equals V times R. You can use this in other parts here, but you still need to find these other variants. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I've drawn up the circuit of a... series parallel circuit. Now, the first thing we need to do is, like I said, always break it down to get these two items. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna make, to find the current of the 120, we're gonna find the voltage drop of 60 and the power of 80, probably Probably the harder ones, this is probably the hardest you can get to break down, but we're going to work through this step. So the first thing I need to do is we need to put the 60 plus 120 over, sorry, over 1, 1 over thing, 1 over 80, we add those two together. Alright, so when we look for a calculator, sorry guys, that works pretty. So, what we're going to do, we add these two together first, which gives us 180 over 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 180 over 1 plus 80 over 1 equals, push it back again and reinvert it, and we have 55.3 ohms. Plus the 120 equals, so I'm going to do plus 120 equals a total of 175.3 ohms. Total, now total current V over R. Always putting the formula down. Formula identifies what you're working out. So 390 volts divided by the 175.3. So what I'm going to do now is go 390 divided by 175.3 equals 2.22 amps. So we have the total current, total resistance and total voltage. So you, you can see that I have now those three items to work with. So now I need to break this down. So the three items I'm asking for. So Voltage drop here, the formula for that will be V equals I times R, if you're thinking of what that would equal. I equals V over R, and P will equal um, I V squared over R, because it's in parallel, remember? So we had our parallel one down here, so that'll be V squared. So the first thing I need to do for this is get the voltage drop across those three resistors. So voltage drop across, we'll call this A, B, and C, all right, is equal to I times R. So the current is 2.2 amps times the resistance. Now the resistance for the three of those was 55.3 um, 55 ohms was a common for all three of those put together. And that would be like the current flowing through one resistor would be 55.3, so times 55.3 ohms. So, okay. So we've got 2.22, all right, times 55.3 equals 122. 0.7 volts. Okay, so we've got the voltage drop for the whole three of these. So 122.7 volts is across these three here. So the first thing I need to do, V squared over R. So let's do P 
equals V squared over R, and that is for the 80 ohm resistor. So V squared is going to be 122.7 volts squared divided by 80 ohms. All right. Still got my formula and it identifies something now. This is voltage and this is resistance. So 122.7 squared, I can already do that. Square it, divided by 80 ohms, and we get 188.3 watts. Not ohms and not volts or anything, it's watts. Okay, so that little baby there has identified that one. The next one we're gonna do is we now have um, the volt, the current defined in the voltage drop in this series circuit. Now you've got to remember when we do the current for this, the current will be the same flowing through these two here. Okay, so remember it's like a series circuit, so the current will be the same through this one and same through this one. So I equals V over R. So I'm going to do the voltage drop for the two of those to combine together. So I equals V over R. Okay, so we're going to be doing it for the 120 um, plus the 60. So if we go 177, sorry, 122.7, which is what we worked out down here, 122.7 divided by the, what do we got? We got 120 plus 60 is 200. Well, sorry, 180. All right. So little, it's going to be come down to point something. So... We have two, because the current down here is less. So we had 122.7 divided by 180 equals zero. So our current, I, equals 0 0.681, oh sorry, 6.8 amps. So it's very low. Okay, so that is what I have running through here. So 0 0.68 of an amp flowing through both of those. Now the voltage drop, I times R. So all I'm going to do here is voltage drop equals I times R. So it'll be 0 0.68 times the 60. And we have, so that identified that. So this will be... 0 0.68 times 60, all right, equals 40.9. So that is now giving me my voltage drop. So at the end of the day, you can see how I've broken things down by step by step. I use how I use the formulas. So we have that is one answer. This is the other answer, all right, and the 183 watts. And that's what covered. So this covered for me for my power. This is for my voltage drop across that resistor, and this is what did the 120. <clears throat> like I said, anything you can do once you have these three values here: voltage, current, and res sorry, resistance and current. You can break it down to do anything that you want. It's a matter of also making sure you're looking in the right order. All right. I'm going to come back. We're going to do one a little bit more different. Same type of circuit but just doing it a bit a little bit different, okay?